I know that everyone says, uh, so, so it goes, you know, once you learn how to ride a bike, you never forget. But this is such a different environment and different experience, this competitive racing. Can you just give me a bit more of an insight? Yeah, I mean, obviously, on a velodrome, um, it's a lot more difficult to learn than just riding a bike. <laughs> but it is, once you know how to race on this track, it comes very easily. Um, and obviously the Track Champions League is a league for us to be able to compete over four weekends. Um, and to be honest, it's, it's the exposure um, that track cycling really needs. We've never had it before. Um, and so now it's just given us an opportunity to race weekend, weekend, weekend in, weekend out. Um, so uh, racing here then, what's it like for you, particularly being here, particularly in London? Um, how does London, uh, how's London different from racing anywhere else? Best track in the world. There is no velodrome like it. Uh, there's no velodrome for me that has the memories like this velodrome does. Um, obviously back in 2012 I was only 20 and all my dreams came true. Like it, it, just, it just felt like I was living in someone else's life for like two weeks. Um, and so I'll just hold those memories here forever. Um, and I mean I grew up 30 minutes away from this velodrome. So it just feels like every time I come back, I come back home. How are you feeling to be here in, in this atmosphere at the minute? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's, it's not really like any other competition we've had before. It's different with all the lighting and, and the spectators being dark and the track being more lit up and all the graphics and all that sort of thing. So it's a pretty cool atmosphere to be a part of. Like I said, nothing like we've ever really experienced before. So you're currently wearing a blue jersey. So does that mean you're leading? Yes, right? correct, yeah. So are you feeling confident? Or have you still, are you feeling that pressure? Is it kicking in yet? Yeah, I feel reasonably confident. Like I said before, there's definitely pressure on. I'm only two points ahead, so I can't really make any mistakes, otherwise I'll lead, uh, lose the lead. So, yeah, definitely some confidence as I've been pretty fast in the last few races, but um, I can't let my confidence get the better of me and I've got to, got to stay focused. Well, good luck and all the best. Thank you. Cycling is important to me because it helps the deaf community to feel included, help with reduce isolation, and also perfect for mental health. Relaxation, getting out in the natural environment. How do I feel? Good question. For me, being involved, at first I was a bit nervous, but I pushed through, I learned new skills, cycling, training to be an instructor, and also 
it helped me encourage the deaf community to go out. Also, it helped with my confidence. Yeah. Cheers. So uh, for the two of us, it's, it's a real thrill. It's a joy to be here. This is our first time at an event like this. Uh, it's, a, it's a very new feeling for us. So I just want to get your insight, really, uh, on what we can expect, because we're, we're completely new. Yeah, we don't, we, we don't know a thing about what we're, what we're here to see. So well, what, what can you tell us? You're in for a treat, that's for sure. It's going to be the very best riders in the world who are on the best form, and they're battling out for this, this amazing trophy here, the UCI. Track Champions League, it's the final night, so it's all come to a head now, and it's, it's the big finale. We're gonna have a full crowd, it's gonna be an amazing atmosphere, so you have chosen the, the, the best time to come and see track cycling for the first time. Oh, we are very much looking forward to it. Uh, can you give us an insight then into who we should be looking out for? Who's on form? Who, who do we need to keep our eyes on? In the men's sprint, there's, there's Harry Lovrason from the Netherlands, there is Matt Richardson from Australia, and they are neck and neck in the men's sprint. And it's, that's been one of the big stories of the league so far. They are absolutely phenomenal. They're the fastest guys on the planet. They'll be re reaching speeds almost uh, 80 kilometers an hour on the final lap. So th that battle, it's like the two sprint legends head to head battling, and that's gonna be super fierce. Ah! <laughs> 